Hey, welcome in. I'm just other Chris, and today we're gonna be talking about my Polaroid SX70. Oh yeah, but not talking about the camera picture qualities and all that stuff. That is to come later. But what today is, I want to replace the skin or the leather, if you will. It's not actually leather. It was just leather. But fun fact, this is not the one that we are gonna be replacing today. No, I have something kind of special that we are gonna replace today. It is this one. Look how nasty. <laughs> this one is holy crap SX70 Alpha not Alpha 1 just Alpha and honestly this particular one I can't find uh, I'm pretty sure this is model 2 but quick backstory this guy I went out to shoot some of the wildfire smoke in our area it was here for like two weeks gosh that was intense I went out the first picture that I took um, it didn't come out it did not eject the picture it was broken I fixed it don't worry I know what was wrong with it I was bummed at the time I couldn't use it, so I went online just to like, uh, on frustration, trying to buy a new one, and I saw this one, local in my area, for $5. <laughs> yeah, $5. With the original box, and, <laughs> I'm still blown away by this, the case with strap and everything, it's like brand new, super great condition, I, I mean, what a crazy find. Five dollars. Did I say that already? Five bucks. Condition wise, uh, it over, like it's fine. It's like really, really, really clean, really good, except for the leather. So I bought some replacement leather. We are going to uh, figure this out together because I know these are not easy uh, or user friendly experience to replace this leather. But uh, nonetheless, we are going to replace it. But since this one's like the white color, I thought I would not go with brown. I would mix it up a little bit and go with a blue leather. What do you think? I think that's gonna look kind of cool. Uh, so let's get to it right now and see what happens. Things you're gonna need. Camera, check. The next thing you're gonna need is some paper towels. I recommend the Scott ones because they're a little bit more absorbent. You're gonna need some sort of scraper, either razor blades or this scraper and rubbing alcohol and some other stuff that we'll go over soon as well as some sort of hair dryer or heat gun. Make sure there's no film inside of the camera before you get going. That could potentially cause an issue later on with your film. Now, the next step is pretty simple. You just have to heat everything up with the hair dryer or heat gun. Using the heat gun could be problematic because like this camera's plastic, that could be an issue. Uh, so I recommend just using a hair dryer because it won't have any sort of issue with melting your camera. Then you take a scraper and then just go to town. There's no real right or wrong way of doing this. Uh, just try and keep the scraper flat and flush and just go to town. Good luck. It will make a mess. The only part you're really going to need to pay attention to is right here. Do not scrape from the wrong way. You want to scrape downwards, away from where the film comes out. If you come in from the other side like there, what's going to happen is a potential of bending the metal. You don't want to do that because that's where, like I said, where the film ejects. And then that's it. Just keep scraping away. Then you'll have something like this, which uh, is got some more work to be done. I was using some rubbing alcohol to get the rest of the adhesive off. That works. I could not find my Goo Gone. Goo Gone is really what you want to use here. Uh, but here are some other alternatives. Rubbing alcohol kind of works. WD-40 works a little bit more, but you kind of have to let it soak in. But don't pour any of this stuff directly onto the camera. Put it on a rag first because you don't want this stuff seeping into the seams of your camera and ruining your camera, like the your film or whatever. So put it on a rag first, then start rubbing away. This will take some time. There is another alternative that you can use, but please, if you do use this, use some common sense, be safe. But lighter fluid will work awesome. It will dissolve the adhesive pretty fast. Is, is this a great alternative, but please be safe. <laughs> Make sure that heat gun is far away and unplugged from you as possible. And here you are ready to apply the new leather. Uh, just peeled off and stick it in place. But once this stuff gets put down, even one little corner, it doesn't come up. So be careful, don't get an air bubble like I just did. It's very annoying. <laughs> you can't get rid of it. So it's not too bad in my case. But 
The top part of it is the only other difficult part, if, if at all. Make sure the camera is in its uh, operating position, and then you can put those two sides on. And then the top, you gotta pay attention to, which is front and back. Uh, but that's it. Once those are on, you're good to go. You got yourself a replacement SX70 leather. Well, pleather. Doesn't that look just beautiful and just like a totally different camera from before? Oh my gosh, it's so good. There's one place that I did mess up. I got a couple air bubbles in the bottom and that's so frustrating. I tried to fix it, but once this stuff is laid down, you, there's, there's no getting it back up. So you really gotta be careful. I got a tiny one, tiny, tiny one on the top, uh, but it's not too bad. Overall though, I am very pleased with it. It also adds a little bit of grip too. So if you set it down, it's not gonna slide all over the place, kind of like the older ones do. Maybe the original ones were like this, but over time the finish is worn down. I don't know, obviously I wasn't around in the 70s to uh, get one of these and, <laughs> and see what it feels like right out of the box. But overall, this is very cool. I think the blue just adds this awesome, awesome, cool, unique look, kind of custom to, to my likings, you know? Um, it's more personalized this way. I also have a frog tongue coming for this. That's not here yet, unfortunately, I'm still waiting on that. If you guys want to see a short video on how to install that on these cameras, leave a comment below and, and maybe I'll make it. Who knows? You just never know. I would really appreciate if you guys would just do me a solid favor, and that is just consider subscribing. I would really greatly appreciate it. I got some bigger projects coming along because I want to start making mini docs and post them here on this channel. I already have one that I'm wrapping up right now that you guys are going to see probably within this week, maybe next week so that's coming very soon I can't wait to share that with you if you want to see some retro style content consider subscribing because I'm gonna be posting a lot more of that that's enough rambling for me today so be sure to crash your car through that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video see ya